Hello and welcome to this Tuesday Reflection on the 8th of September. As some of you may know, the period from the 1st of September to the 4th of October is known as Creation Tide, an opportunity for the Church to celebrate and reflect on the good gift of God's creation. This global celebration, which began in 1989, is now embraced by the worldwide ecumenical community. Over the next four weeks, I'm going to explore some aspects of this creation tide season, looking at scripture, at our responsibility as Christian disciples, and at what small steps we might take as individuals and as church communities that will not only demonstrate our care for our planet, that will make a difference to the well-being of this wonderful world that God's entrusted to us. The first aspect I'd like to look at is God's invitation to human beings to be good stewards of planet Earth. To till it and keep it, as the first human in the book of Genesis was asked to do, to ensure it's thriving and flourishing, so that God, as he did in the beginning, might continue to see everything he's made and declare it very good, and to celebrate and wonder at the sheer miracle and variety of life and the wisdom with which God has made it all, as the psalmist repeatedly does. However, all the evidence suggests that we're not doing a very good job at stewarding the Earth's resources, and we haven't been doing for some time. Our greed and selfishness, our modern day drive for ever greater profits, our demand for readily available foods, whether in or out of season, are all having a catastrophic effect on the natural world. Those who are monitoring the gradual warming of our planet, measuring the melting of the ice flows and the rising sea levels that threaten the existence of whole island communities, are giving us 10 years before the damage to our world, including human life, becomes irreversible. One of the most remarkable pictures I saw during the global lockdown was a photograph taken from space, showing the massive drop in the levels of air pollution in all the major cities of the world compared to the photos taken before the pandemic struck. Those levels are now likely to start rising again, further compromising the clean air that all living things need if we're to remain healthy and well. Rather than caring for our planet, there's little doubt that we've abused and plundered it, upsetting the fine eco-balance almost to the point of our own destruction. It really is that serious. We might feel that there's little we can do in the face of big international companies and global businesses. But there are a lot of things that, if we all did them, would make an enormous difference. Here are just a few. The first is to repent. That is, A, to acknowledge the damage that we as a species have done and are doing to the planet, and b, to commit ourselves to doing all we can to stop inflicting that damage. We might then take a look at the amount of food we buy and then waste. Tons upon tons of food are wasted every day, either because we overbuy and things go off before we can eat them, or we prepare too much for our needs 
and the leftovers get thrown away. Reducing waste to an absolute minimum would go some way to better respecting the resources that the earth produces and valuing the food that is creation's gift to us. We could commit to buying foods that are produced locally or at least from within the UK. We've got so used to having what we want all year round, even if it can't be grown in the UK or it's only available for a few months of the year, that much of our fresh stuff is produced thousands of miles away. This means lots of air miles, shipping miles or lorry miles across continents, all producing pollution as they wend their way to our supermarket shelves. If we looked at where things came from and bought only local or UK products whenever possible, we'd not only be supporting our own UK farmers, but we'd be sending an important message to our supermarkets. They do take notice of what people buy and what they don't. And we could aim to recycle as much paper, glass and cans as we possibly can. Avoiding plastics and limiting our use of things like cling film, which are not biodegradable and do untold damage to our environment. These are small steps, but if we all did them, it would make a huge difference and we'd be playing our part in being good stewards of the creation God has gifted to us, as well as helping to save it from disaster. <laughs>